Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here and welcome back to another video. So we got Raven again on our secondary account, Terek 5 I think this is, we'll see at the end if I'm right or not. So we're going to go over the fights that I did on this account, what teams I used, how it went and at the end of the reward. First up, we're going to open up with the Kimflan Sakuman fight. We have uh, Golden Green Lantern, Emmer Green Lantern to be exact, and he's there to give me some power generation. Was hoping for Atrocitus, but that was already used, and I messed up when I tagged in Dr. Fate, using an additional third special Kimflan Sakuman. We need to get killed because of Nora Snow Globe. But yeah, we got uh, killed and the first clone got tagged in there. We're going to see how much health we have available to us to combo and chop. And it looks like we have uh, two third specials worth of health to combo and chop. Now we need to back off and I'm just gonna spam back all blocking until I generate enough power. There we go, she gap closed into a jump attack and I was able to use my third special. Sir Grinlanta, Emmer Grinlanta, excuse me, back in there. And uh, the second clone is in there, third special, there we go. With this one we might be able to come and chop until the end. Now third special. And there we go, one more third special left and I have enough health to come and chop. There we go, boys. This is a perfect Implant Sakuman versus Raven fight. Sadly, she's got a damage cap, so the damage will not be as insane as if we were fighting something else that was not capping my damage that I do. But this is as good as it gets for Nora Snow Globe Implant Sakuman, and we even got the super move in there at the end. Now, next up, we're going to have Zatanna plus uh, Reverse Flash. Uh, plus Shazam. I'm not gonna give her Power Girl because Power Girl is gonna give, be needed for a team that will be used afterwards, but she's here mainly for the percentage health damage that she's able to do, and afterwards we're going to try to deal some damage, but she doesn't do much other than the percentage health damage. We got Burning in there, so we're just gonna come on chopped here into second special and whatever is free afterwards. And the third special there, reverse flash for a power swap there, Zatanna back in there, third special, another third, a second special there, another second special, and another second special, and the free third special in there, reverse flash back in, swapping some power again. Second special, and at this point we're done with the percentage health damage, so we might as well go for damage from this point on. We're not gonna deal that much, but we'll see what we can do. And I messed up the tagging, because of her tagging getting interrupted by normal hits, that's amazing. Uh, third special in there, sadly was not on the Dark Metal Cards era. By the way, for all the things that you'll see here, the artifacts that are gonna give me passive stats are gonna be 2 level 4 chakras, so... That's not gonna be a lot. Zatanna died here, I'm gonna try and do some stuff afterwards, but it's pointless at this point. And yeah, this went well. Well enough. Now moving on to the next one, we have uh, Raven plus Sir Banshee. You can see kind of the setup, level 4 Dark Metal cards, level 4 Chakra on the other two characters. And this team does particularly well here. I'm trying to push her to the corner, special 2, and I messed up a bit, but it's fine. We can afford to mess up at the start of the fight. Later on, when she's got enough energy for the special 2, that's when things get complicated. By the way, still no Gears Raven, so one mistake and Raven's dead. Third special in there, that's a 16 mil. Raven back in there, special 1, 4 darkness stacks, 5 darkness stacks. Third bench in there, third special, that's gonna be a 23 mil. And no, I'm not gonna use the special 2 of Raven, because doing that would be pointless, because it would uh, dislodge the enemy Raven from the corner position and put my Raven in danger. I know I can disable the enemy specials with the other arcane characters, special 2 and special 3, I'm just not gonna do that because it's not convenient for me in any way, shape or form and would lead to me dying if anybody was gonna ask that question in the comments because I always get that question. So, well, did you know that Raven special 2 can disable specials of the enemy? Why are you not doing that? Because it's not optimal. If something happens doesn't mean it has to happen. There we go, 5 darkness tags, 3rd special, now we can do 2 third specials per tagging before we need to tag in Raven again to reset darkness, special 1. Throw a bench back in there, 3rd special, jump attack, special 1, 2 disables, jump attack, 3rd special, special 1 again. Raven in there, special 1, 3rd special again, 23 mil. Bro, this one I played so well and it very rarely happens that they play well the Throw bench team. I messed up with the Surbench team afterwards, which is a fight that's not included in this video, but yeah, almost 300 mil, that's insane. Now for the Just League team, we have Dark Metal cards on Flash, and Flash will do well enough here with Dark Metal cards. He's got the 500% crit damage build, and we're going to be able to crit her for the most part. 
Level 4 Dark Melkars doesn't guarantee a crit against crit immune targets, but it's gonna give you a pretty good chance. Cyborg tank that super move, I believe he was gonna honestly survive. Bane in there to try and push her back to a corner. Flash back in, we got her in the corner. We're going to use third special because that also does decent damage, though we're not guaranteed we're gonna get a crit on both parts of it. But again, we're not gonna guarantee crits on basic attack hits either. There we go, it critted two times, so that was 2.6 mil, definitely worth doing. Now our third special in there, come on, chopped again, come on, chopped again, and again. Into our third special, come on, chopped again. Yeah, we got her to a corner, and at this point, the only thing that can change the gameplay of this fight, or that can impede my progress here, is me failing to combo in chops. And I wouldn't say Raven is the easiest character in the game to combo in chop, and she's the one that punishes you the most, because she does a ton of damage with her abilities. Like, right now, I'm pretty low on health, but even if I was full health, a special 2 is all it takes for me to die. I can survive a special 1, though. And if you fail once, she's gonna be so annoying to re-engage with, because she blocks so fast after swipe and the jump attack, and those are kind of the two openings you have. But yeah, Just League Team did very well here. Now, almost 100 mil. Not bad. You can plant Sakomen in there with the proper team this time, with the Chositus. Dr. Fate in there, we get a lot of power generation, first third special of the match. Dr. Fate back in. You can plant Sakomen back in there, another third special. Dr. Fate back in. You can plant Sakomen back in, third special again. And yeah, there we go, now we're going to wait for her to do super move before we get the clone tagged in. There we go. And King is gonna allow her to do super move here. And that clone did not live long. That was that was quite unfortunate and quite annoying. So this went so much worse than the first fight, because by default one of the clones did not have any time to do anything. We're gonna see what we can do with the second clone, but this is far from ideal though. It is what it is. It's it's fine, it happens. Dr. Fate in here, building some combo, and our third special in there. And at this point we're just trying to get whatever damage we can in there, until the end of the fight. We're not dealing high amounts of damage, but every single bit of damage counts, because it might mean one more or one less fight against this one. Tuck her fade back in, keep pushing her to the corner, third special in there again. Another third special. Tuck her fade back in. And yeah, there we go. Not the best Kimflat Sakuman fight, but it did a decent job. And put her at low enough points. We're gonna have Zatanna again here. Hopefully we're gonna have a better time than the last one. Though the last one didn't go too badly. Special 2 in there. At the start I'm gonna try for a few special 2s, hoping to get the free third special, but now nah, going straight for third special there. Reverse slash power swapping for me there, and our third special. It does a decent amount of damage with the Dark Mall cards itself, outside of the percentage health. Our second special in there, reverse slash back in. He didn't want to power swap there, but that's fine. And our second special, reverse slash back in. Again, he didn't want to power swap, he just didn't feel like it, whatever. Just having there with a special one, so he's sitting on a bit of health, I guess. And Zatanna got messed up again, because of her taggings that get interrupted by basic attack. It's boy, I hate, I hate that so much. I hate that, that they do it with every single new character they release. Oh, oopsie, their basic attack hits, their tagging attack gets interrupted by tap attacks of the enemy. Who would have guessed that? It's totally not an issue that we've had for every single character that we've released for the past two years. For sure it's not something we should test out a little bit more before we list this character. Uh, but yeah, rant aside, Zatanna kinda died, I'm gonna try and get some damage with the other two characters. That was a 2 mil damage with that super move, and that's mostly because of the Zatanna buffs. And she did jump attack there, Shazam almost died, gonna do a super move with him as well. It wasn't a low combo, but still some damage. And yeah, for the last fight, we're going to be back to the Serbench Raven team. This is a very risky team to use. I used it in between those fights one additional time that I didn't show because I messed up. I just died at the start. All it takes is Raven getting hit by one special and it's all over. Third special in there, jump attack, special one, special one with Raven. Or darkness stacks, 
third special, special one, or even back in there. And yeah, I messed up, but thankfully she did not go for the third special. Right, I would have lost my mind at this point because I already delayed this video a bit because I messed up and didn't kill her. This video was planned a little bit earlier, but my gameplay did not agree with me. Our third special, and she's done. And do you think we got the Raven Legendary reward? Uh, keep in mind, so far until Heroic 5, we have never got Raven shards on this account. Like, never from the Soul Raid. Never, ever. And on the main account, we got it once by completing... Uh, uh, Heroic, all the way to Heroic 7 and Heroic 7 like three times at this point. We got it once on the main account, so so far a little bit unlucky. But we got Raven here, and it's actually gonna be enough shards to promote the Raven on my secondary account to four stars. Could have transferred the shards to the main account, but the secondary account deserves a four star Raven. It worked for it, and the promotion was available, so I just went with it. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, like the video if you liked it, disliked it if you disliked it, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, subscribe by the way. Bye. This is the future.